The first one is eager to learn. So that curiosity, I think, you know, uh, it's, you've only got one first impression. And if you're um, looking to put a good impression on on the first day, um, making sure you're really deliberate with the questions that you're asking um, and that you're curious into why things are being done the way that they are. So I think that comes across really quite well. Um, obviously, pick your moments. You don't want to be, if you're working in elite sport or you're, you're doing an internship at an AFL club, you know that things move really quickly. Uh, uh, sorry, excuse me. And everyone's relatively busy in their roles, so you don't want to be asking those type of questions when they're working with the athletes. But certainly when there's in-between moments like lunchtime or before the day has started, maybe the, the coaches are lifting in the gym or perhaps at the end of the day um, can be a good time to, to ask those questions. Number two, build relationships. I think there's many different ways you can go about that. Uh, don't go in too uh, hot and heavy at the start and try and, um, you know, not, not necessarily spend too much time around people but trying to accelerate that process. Everyone's a little bit different um, and everyone will grow and navigate towards um, people in a different way. Some people are really happy to um, speak and build that relationship really quickly where other staff members um, maybe takes takes a little bit more time. So um, read the cues, recognise um, people's responsibilities in the program and um, but the earlier that you can be building relationships with people, uh, the better you'll be and the more comfortable you'll be in that setting to be able to not only perform in your role as an intern, but also um, to uh, actually enjoy uh, the process. Number three, show initiative. I think this is a critical one. Uh, too often I see interns um, just standing in the outskirts in the corner, um, not really engaging with the athletes, not engaging with the staff. Uh, and not showing an issue and how they can contribute to the program. And, and early days, that's just going to be simple tasks like packing up the cones after drills, helping the coaches on the field, um, putting the weight plates away in the gym, uh, asking staff members that are prepping for a gym session or prepping for a, a field session, what can you bring out to the field? How can you prepare um, the gym by setting up maybe some mobility hurdles and so forth. And the more that you're uh, driving that and showing initiative, uh, the better you'll be, not only from uh, going to point number two, building relationships with your um, those people in um, key roles at the club, um, but also you'll um, no doubt actually build more responsibilities uh, in your internship. Number four, attention to detail. This is probably some one that's mentioned a lot, but uh, I think it's really, really important if you have any like uh, data um, entering, which is something that I did during my internship at Hawthorne. Um, when the when the weights programs were finished at the end of the week, I would transfer the uh, lifting numbers. So let's say they're doing box squat, the reps that they did and the weight that they had on the bar for that athlete, and it would go to a spreadsheet. Uh, and obviously you want to make sure that you're entering in the right data. So having that um it's a it's a common sense one, but making sure that you've you're really not just going through the motions. You're really alert with what you're doing. You're concentrating and you're focusing on quality of work. Number five, time management. Typically, interns obviously you're going to have a day job or an afternoon job. Um, you're going to be completing your degree, so you're going to have a lot of different moving parts. Perhaps you're moving house or moving out of the family home for the first time. So you're going to have some different stresses, some different things that are taking um, you away from that internship and making the most of it. So it's critical that you're, um, you've got good time management skills, um, you've got a schedule laid out, and you know exactly um, what you're focusing on, where you're going to be on each day so you can um, not only maximise the day but also not um, burn yourself out by over committing to certain things. So that's really, really critical for more from a sustainable point of view. I think um, too often interns end up uh, being overwhelmed later on in the process and um, perhaps missing sessions or rocking up late um, and that's only going to do you a disservice